Hi, this is Dale with SpywarePreventionGuy.com. Tonight I want to talk to you about Windows updates. With the advent of all the spyware and viruses out there nowadays, I know many people are just getting very skittish about doing any kind of downloading. And sometimes they don't even do their Windows updates because of it. Well, I just want to show you how you can tell whether they're legitimate or not when you get prompted to download something such as a Windows update. Here I had to dig out one of my older computers that actually needs some updating. And if you look down here where my cursor is kind of vibrating at, at this yellow shield in the lower right corner of the screen, that's your notification area, that's what you're going to see when you're notified to do Windows updates. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. Now here it gives you an option to choose the updates to download. Now some people don't know what they should download, what they should not download. You can at least do a little homework by clicking through each one and if you look down here in the bottom window you'll actually see a brief description of what that update is. And of course if you want more info you can click the link here. Uh, now when it comes to certain big updates such as like say Internet Explorer going from 6 to 7 or 7 to 8 I suggest you get a little bit more prepared for those uh, as well as service packs. Now although this one actually says service pack in the name I'm talking about an actual service pack for the Windows itself not just a component of the Windows. So uh, there are prerequisites. Sometimes when you do those big updates you may need to actually come down and say like disable your antivirus program. You may need to disable a firewall turn off all unnecessary programs running in the background. That way you'll have the best chances of this update installing without any problems. Sometimes these security products can interfere with the service pack installing and then you restart your computer when you think you're done and your computer's broke. Now if you don't totally trust that these are really Windows updates here being displayed to you, you can just go use your own link. You can click on start all programs and scroll up to here and you can do the Windows updates from there. And you're pretty much going to see in a different look the same updates that were available for download from this window here. Except these ones here you're primarily going to see just the critical Windows updates which mostly are going to be your security type updates which you should do regularly. I don't always like to do them when I'm notified right then and there. I like to finish my work and then I'll pick a time maybe in the evening or when I'm not going to be needing the computer and I'll do my updates and go through the, the rounds. If you do them regularly, when it does come time to update, it goes pretty quick. So that's all I want to say tonight about Windows updates. Uh, you should be doing them. There is a way to find out what these updates are for and uh, how to get more info where I showed you on those links. And if you don't like trusting what you see blinking down here, again, you can always click Start, All Programs, and Windows Update. And primarily what I've been showing you here tonight is for Windows XP. You're actually going to see most of your updates come in fairly automatically with Vista and 7. Most people don't even know how to turn those ones off. Anyways, with that said, this is Dale, the SpywarePreventionGuy.com. Hope you enjoyed this brief video about Windows updates. Thank you and good night.